Friends, as the 20th, 21st century grows older, what do we see? I think we are living now in an age that can be defined as the age of coercion. Whether you live in a democratic state where elections and rituals like it take place or whether you live in other parts of the world. Effectively, the United States, the dominant power in the globe, has decided that what it wants, it will do. And in Trump, they have elected a president who doesn't wear a mask. He says these things quite openly, things which sometimes upset the liberals in the United States and lib his liberal opponents because they would prefer to wear a mask to prettify the reality. He says it clearly. What we want, we're going to get. And what we are watching now, in the case of Julian Assange, Julian's lawyer announced only a few days ago that an offer was made from Trump via a congressman who said that if he gave the Russians a clean bill of health, all the charges would be dropped. So Trump knows and the American administration knows that this is a farce. It's something you use to get something from someone else. If you give me what I want, you can go free. The same criteria is being applied to another form of coercion. And that coercion is the trade war which the United States is conducting against China. And that also involves extradition. One of the leading <coughs> one of the leading people in the Chinese firm Huawei, <coughs> which poses a threat to American trade interests, was picked up in Canada, locked up and is waiting extradition to the United States. Despite the fact that China, unlike Britain, is a major state in the world. It's not a steward state, it's not a satrapy. It doesn't do the United States' bidding, they're doing this to China. And again the message has gone out, if you make some concessions, not specified, that we need, we will release her. So the notion that this has anything to do with law is, a, is, is untrue, it's a lie. The reason Julian Assange, as we have stated many a time over the last few years, despite the slanderers of the mainstream media, who should be ashamed of themselves for the coverage that they have given Assange, because they will suffer themselves. <coughs> and here I would say that some of those who have been the worst have been the liberal media. I have to say this, the Guardian which used Julian Assange to publish all the material that Chelsea Manning had sent him, the New York Times, should have waged a campaign and should be waging a campaign to demand Assange's release. And these parliamentarians sitting inside the House of Commons blindly now with the huge Tory majority voting through whatever is put above them. I would say I would echo what Roger has said and say it to Boris Johnson. You actually have been a journalist yourself. We may not agree with what you wrote and I never did, but you know what it is to publish a piece which annoys people which irritates people and are you prepared to sit silently and acquiesce in this judicial farce that is about to begin in a few hours time are you going to do that because if you do effectively you're opening the door to the united states being able to pick any foreign journalist from anywhere 
and demand his or her extradition. This is what is going to happen. So it's extremely short-sighted, this trial that is taking place. And why is the trial taking place at all? Because in this age of coercion, one of the most grotesque forms of coercion is war. <coughs> Occupying countries, organizing regime changes because you don't like the people who are in power at the moment, even though you put them there several years ago. And you wage war and you kill millions of people. And when brave journalists or brave soldiers, as Chelsea Manning then was, expose your wrongdoings, you arrest them and punish them so that this doesn't happen again. We must do our best to prevent Julian Assange being extradited. That goes without saying. But one thing they should remember, the powers that be, the concert of powers, those who rule over us, one thing they must remember, that despite the fact that they have organized and promoted this epoch of coercion to get their own way, there will always be people, regardless of what you do to Julian Assange, who will come out one day when the atrocities are no longer acceptable and expose you. And that is why, <coughs> and that is why join with me so that they can hear beyond these streets, don't extradite Assange, come on. Once more, louder, don't extradite Assange.